I'm now going to show you how to create groups of students in order to track certain students. I'm going to click on this arrow over here on the left hand side. I'm then going to click the plus sign to create my the name of my group. And I'm just going to call this monitor students. I then need to click the plus sign next to the title I just created. You will then see here, this is my overarching group. I can't add students into this group. I actually need to create a subgroup to be able to add students. So I'm gonna click on that little symbol right here and then click on the plus sign. This X will delete that group I just created, but I'm gonna click here on this plus sign. And then it says new group. Notice this is kind of indented in from the title of monitor students because this is a subgroup. So for example, maybe I wanted to track my ELL students. Type in ELLs, and then I hit my plus sign to add it. The screen will then refresh and show the groups that I've created over here. So here's my ELL group. Now I want to add students into this group. So I'm going to check this box, Enable Group Editing, and then click the plus sign next to my subgroup ELLs. You'll notice once I do that, I get plus signs next to the student names here. I can then select which students I would like to populate into that ELL group. Once I'm done, I can uncheck the group editing box. Now you'll see when I click on my ELL group over here, it shows me which students are in that group and also filters my gradebook to show just those students.